for this chair, you're going to flip over the base and you're going to attach the wheels. They just pop into place, use a little force and do all five. Next, we're going to flip back over the base and lay it flat on the floor and attach the center gas shock. The next part is we're going to attach the base to the bottom cushion. Make sure you pay attention to which side's front. It is labeled and you're going to attach it using four screws. So you're going to add each one of these end finger tight and then you're going to make sure you tighten it down fully using the provided Allen wrench. Next, we are going to attach the base and the bottom cushion to the le to the feet. So you're just going to put it onto the gas shock and just sits in place. Now we're going to attach the armrest to the side. So you're going to do the bottom cushion first, which has two screws. You're going to add them in and then tighten them down with the Allen wrench. Sometimes it's easier to have a second person holding it because it might roll away from you or to brace it with your feet. So you're going to attach both screws and then move on to the back cushion. So for the back cushion, you're gonna just put it into place, line it up with the side armrests, and then I tried to do this myself, but it's definitely much easier to do with two people. So you're just gonna line up the screws and then tighten them in all the way till they're fully tight. Next, we're going to add the lumbar support adjustable um, lever, which just has two screws that go right into the base, and you're going to tighten them down fully using the provided out wrench. And then don't forget to take the wire and clip it into the clip that's on the base of the cushion. Final step is to add the caps over the screw holes. These are color matching caps, so you just pop each one into place and do all four on each side. And there you go, you're all set. You have a nice completed rolling desk chair.